Hey guys, welcome back to Bourbon Beats. My name is Roman. I'm Lou. And today we're going to be reviewing uh, the same company. There's two different uh, types. It's going to be Found North. It's uh, based in Canada, Canadian whiskey. And uh, in my personal opinion, we have had these before. I don't feel like it should be Canadian whiskey, even though it was made in Canada. Yeah, to me, like we read the description, read the yeah. reviews about, I mean, read, uh, watched the reviews, and uh, it was a little bit confusing. Um, you know, yeah, uh, for definitely. me, like I didn't pay, you know, super attention to it, but like it was, a, was it sourced somewhere or, or did they actually, you know, make it all in Canada or I don't know how exactly it was done, but. Um, I feel like it's a whiskey that was born in America, but then moved to Canada and made <laughs> whiskeys over there. That's, that's how, that's how it, it tastes more like, like an American bourbon than it does Canadian whiskey. Yeah, it, it was definitely uh, made in the essence of uh, American The American whiskey. spirit. I mean, that's what it says on their website too. Yeah. 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 So, uh, this is uh, batch five right here. This one is batch six. Uh, to keep it short, batch five is 58.1% uh, ABV. Uh, this one is aged eight years. It is a grain of 73% corn, 27% wheat. And uh, it is a blend of a 21-year-old, 73% of it is 21-year-old, and 27% of the, of the uh, bottle is an eight-year-old. Mm -hmm. And that one right there? Yeah, this one uh, is the 17-year uh, batch six. Uh, it's 80%, 87% uh, corn, 12% rye, 1% barley. Wow. Oh, okay. All right. Um, uh, no additives or anything like that. Uh, matured in Hungarian oak. Ooh, Hungarian. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see uh, what these taste like. You know, this, this is what, our second visit to these? Second I, or third? Probably a third visit, something judging like by that. the bottle itself. So, <laughs> yeah, so like on that. our left is going to be the uh, batch five. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Yeah. And then light brownish color on there. Mm -hmm. Not too uh, significant, if anything else. On the smell, it just gives off a rye, and there is no rye in here whatsoever. If you didn't tell me what this was, it does kind of smell like a rye, a little bit of spice yeah, it has, to it. Yeah, it has you know? that spice, that little, um, not sour, but you know, that sour essence mm -hmm. a little bit yeah. that ryes have. About as sour as your attitude. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, I got, I got the strong on the oakiness, uh, definitely on the rye, the spice. And you want to visit it? Yeah, I, I, I get like a medium build like a uh, uh, sweetness to it uh that oakiness uh, um yeah uh, quite a bit of that not strong oak um but a good you know like oomph of it a little bit of sweetness on there mm -hmm. on the nose a little bit yeah not overpowering doesn't smell bad at all you know it's actually really good all right, all right so let's see okay. Okay. sweet very sweet very light, very sweet, and delicious. Yeah, it's very good. It's, it's good. Mm. That's uh, creamy, mm -hmm. a little creamy, that, that nice brown sugar to it. Um, holiday spices. Yeah, got a little yeah. good flick of uh, the oak at the end of the uh, palate there. At the yeah. finish goes down smooth, yeah. very um, smooth. Yeah, it, it's very, it's not very light, but you know, just speaking, it's it it tastes uh, it not it feels very light. But um, it, it packs full flavor. It's sweet. It's oaky. Um, What's you, you got something else in there? You can't figure it out? Yeah, I'm it, it, it's it's not. Um, I was about to go uh, scotch, but no, it's no, not there's scotch. no scotch. There's no scotch. Um, this one. But like it, mm. it started to like kind of twist in my on my tongue for a minute there. Yeah. Revisit it. Yeah, okay, let's see. Just that rice spice comes in, but there's no rice yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it's like a rice spice, um, but there's no rice. It, it, it's just, it's great, but it's like Houdini. It's the Houdini's yeah, of whiskeys right, right there, man. <laughs> Freaking Houdini. I, I don't know how it does it, but it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's good. I give that, I want to say, seven, seven point two. Yeah, I give a good seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah good seven. Yeah. You know, I pretty I'd darn good. Get, um, now let me leave that for the comparison. Yeah, with, uh, let's leave batch six <laughs> before we forget. Let's let's go over to batch six, and uh, this one is significantly older. I mean, um, for for five, um, it's twenty seven percent age. 
What? Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you're so like, scared. You're like, what? Like, what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's five. Um, oh, that's not bad. Let's look at the age. Um, 27% um, eight-year-old whiskey from this one. Um, this one, age 17 years. Age 17 years, but yeah, this one tells you which part. Yeah, right here. You know, it says right here. Uh, oh, can you see yeah. that? This one doesn't have it. Oh, it does not. Yeah, so we don't know how much 17 year. Yeah, because you have to go by the lowest. Whiskey is the in lowest, here. Uh, so, I mean, it could be like, you know, 10%. Fifty percent. Say, just tells us what but, the cash bill is. You know, the the, the young, the youngest in here is seventeen. So who knows? There could be like twenty-five year old yeah. stuff in here. Um, but let's interesting. see. Yeah. Interesting. All right. We can. What is it with you and always dropping whiskeys, man? Can't we? The lips. <laughs> ah, definitely a richer smell. Yeah, richer, richer, deeper. Um, you can definitely uh, tell how much older it is. Yeah. Just, that initially just right away. Super on the... There, there is no rice smell on this one anymore. No. There is no rice smell. Just Especially that. like, you know, on, on mine, our young noses and palates. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you know, we hear people talk about how young bourbons are by just smelling it and tasting it and a lot of them like i can't really tell i mean i can like uh um associate with it you know after trying it a, you know a few times but this one is like you know kind of like you know Sweet. for age night and day yeah yeah let's try it out mm. yeah sweet mm. sweet brown sugar molasses mm. caramel oh I feel like, um, like on batch five, you get um, a much sweeter note, but it's more tame. Yeah, but it's lighter. more tame. It's you a know, light, it, light note. It's like you know, you like know. like white sugar, brown sugar. Like you know, yeah. you get that yeah. deeper, definitely significant flavor difference to it. right there. Uh, definitely on the smell. So like we got the the your personality and my personality right there. Mine um, is more more eventful. Sweet apple, <laughs> sweet red apple. Ah. Uh, or some kind of fruit. I won't say like a berry. Like yeah, a berry some fruit. sort of, you know, red you know. berries. Yeah, yeah that, smells, that smells good. That caramel good. molasses pops out. Mm. Oh yeah, it's just like an older brother. You know, just definitely uh, more knowledge. And more also, fine. that's really, really good. The spice on this one, I also feel like it's not as sharp, but it's more profound. It's more a stronger spice. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. Like I would prefer this spice over that spice. Um, I agree. Because when you get that, you know, like when you're eating peppers, you know, if you're eating like a ooh, jalapeno mm -hmm. or habanero, you no, know, it's different. Like you eat one, you go, hmm. Well, one's like really, really sharp, and the other one's like, oh, well, you eat it and go. How about this? Jalapeno, serrano pepper. I think that's a perfect comparison. Now, before we finish this off, I want to have both side by side. Mm -hmm. See what I think about those. So this is the uh, batch six. This is the batch five right here. So the so batch five, very sweet. But then you got that rye on there. And then. Yeah, that's you know, like like I kind of said, you know, like uh, that had white sugar, brown sugar yeah. type of deal going on. All right, so the five. That flavor doesn't last as long as it does with the batch six. Mm -hmm. Batch six just really stays on there. But batch five is not bad in itself. Mm -hmm. That's a great bottle to have by yourself. You know. Now I'm getting yeah. a lot more, not bitter, but that oaky wood bitterness. Yeah. Type of now, it, 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 it could be though that because we had the uh, six on there. Like the top of on. your mouth, and right here a little bit. Mm. And then oh, try this one. Yeah, I prefer batch six. I give batch six 7.8. Yeah, 7.9, somewhere around there. 7.5, 7.8. 
you know, that, that batch probably gave, what, a 7.2, 7.3, 7.8 for me on the uh, batch six. Mm -hmm. Very, very good, guys. Delicious. Uh, they are pretty, I don't want to say difficult to find, but it's going to be, it's going to take you a while to actually find one. Now, yeah, I've never around. seen it at the store. I mean, you know, we've gone to all the stores, full of wine, Bevmo, mm -hmm. uh, all the local you know, liquor stores, stuff liquor like stores, that. Stuff that I haven't um, seen one. I've only found this at one location. That was, again, El Cerrito. Um, but yeah, I recommend this as a buy and uh, definitely keep on the shelves mm -hmm. and yeah, do, share, share that with your friends. Yeah. yeah. And like uh, we we're talking about before, like Canadian whiskey uh, traditionally, you know, doesn't have that American spirit to it. Yeah. Know? And but it, this, yeah, it, it does. It, Canadian whiskey, it's like one of those things, you know, you go out and, you know, like, like, uh, <laughs> like, you know, like you say, you know, Jack Daniels, you know, black. Oh yeah. Like you know, you go and you shoot them, and you have you know you have a party, whatever. Mm -hmm. But these Canadian whiskeys are not that. No. Not that. Um, what's that game that came out? That that iPhone game that came out during uh, COVID, where it was the, you had to find the imposter. What's it called? Do you remember? Someone, some one of our one of our viewers can figure it out. Put it on the comment section. <laughs> but it was like the one where you're an imposter in a spaceship, and you had to like either do your task if you weren't the imposter and not get killed by the imposter. Or you had to kill everyone if you were an imposter. I feel like these right here are imposters in Canada. They should be American bourbon. You know, simple as that. It does not taste like me. What are the guys from America? From the, from the US? I don't know. To be honest, I, I haven't really dived into that, uh, into that town right there. But anyways, yeah, but guys. These are good. Recommend yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Again, my name is Roman. I'm Lou. Have a wonderful day.